The entire astronomy community is furious with Avi Loeb, and he has no intention of backing down. A very weird object travelled across the solar system five years ago in a very strange way. The object zipped into our solar system and passed the sun at an incredible 16 miles per second. It was shiny, reddish in hue, oblong, between 300 and 3000 feet long, and between those dimensions. It was already leaving our system when Canadian astronomer Robert Werrick discovered the object during a telescope scan in October 2017. The name Oumuamua, which is Hawaiian for scout, was given to this object by astronomers who were perplexed by it because no one was certain of what it was or wasn't. Want to know more? Hi guys, welcome back to Beyond Unknown. Today we'll be taking a look at Oumuamua, whether it is an alien spaceship or not. Make sure to stick till the end of this video as we have a lot to cover. Also don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like today's video, it helps us a long way. And let's get started. One renowned scientist was the only one who was willing to speak what others might only have been thinking. Harvard physicist A.V. Loeb speculated that the Oumuamua's speed, path and shape may indicate that it is an alien craft. In a Hallmark 2021 study, Loeb stated that it was important to take the potential of an artificial origin for Oumuamua into consideration. It's fair to say that Loeb's position which holds that we should, at the very least, consider the possibility that Oumuamua is a spaceship and do appropriate research, has generated some controversy. Currently, a Chinese team is attempting to refute a crucial component of Loeb's case. If Oumuamua is an alien ship, it may be driven by a remarkably tiny light sail that gathers particles from stars. In their own peer-reviewed study, which has been accepted for publication in the journal Astronomy and Astrophysics and was published online on Wednesday. The Chinese team claimed that there is no evidence of a sail in the scant data we have on Oumuamua. Xiangfei Liu, an astronomer at Sun Yat-sen University in Zhuhai, China, told in a report, we conclude that the possibility of Oumuamua being a light sail is exceedingly doubtful. That Loeb disagrees with this statement should be obvious. The authors have missed a few things, according to Loeb, who spoke in an interview. The main focus of Shang Fei and his co-workers' argument is that light sails, which are becoming more and more popular as a means of propulsion for spacecraft that we build here on Earth, tend to be large square objects that either reflect a lot of light or very little light. Light sails do this by capturing photons in the same way that ships' sails capture wind. Everything relies on the angle at which the observer is looking and the rate of rotation of the object they are attached to. There aren't many other technologies that we are aware of that could simply account for Oumuamua's rapid movement throughout our system. However, it's never a good idea to presume that aliens would approach spaceship design in the same way that we do. David Specht, an astronomy researcher at the University of Manchester, told the Daily Beast that he believes there is a good likelihood that alien civilizations have technology that is considerably more advanced than our own. Two issues remain even if Oumuamua is an alien ship without a sail. The issue for Loeb is that it was obvious from our observations of the swift object that something was reflecting sunlight at an unexpected angle as it passed the sun. What exactly is the reflected object if Oumuamua is a ship and it's not a sail? Maybe Oumuamua was damaged, according to Loeb's view. The reflecting object could not even be a sail, simply a surface layer, broken free from a greater structure. In order to explain how Oumuamua picked up such a high speed if it doesn't have a sail, and it's actually a conceivable alien craft of any kind, 
Shang Fei and his colleagues must first rule out the possibility of an alien craft. Their theories are similar to Loeb's. Whatever it is, Oumuamua might be releasing gas that accelerates motion like certain comets do. There are at least two things that everyone agrees on, as Oumuamua's enigma develops and more scientists become engaged. One reason is that we don't have enough information to definitively define what Oumuamua is. The following time something like Oumuamua speeds across the solar system, we ought to be prepared with additional telescopes, improved mathematical models, and perhaps even more specialized space probes. Then perhaps, we'll be able to identify the craft as being, very probably, an alien one, because it will be clear whether the object has a sail. We'll be able to identify the light sail, in the future with the use of a vast amount of highly accurate observation data, according to Shang Fei and his co-workers. One more interstellar visitor has been seen in the years since the initial finding, but no others. The 21 Borisov was a comet-like object that appeared and behaved just like any other comet. There has never been another sighting like Oumuamua. Then what is Oumuamua? In such a lack of data, speculative thinking is fertile, and the discussion rages on. On the other hand, this strange meteoroid that was discovered by humans some years prior to Oumuamua is the subject of a new, startling theory by Loeb. It was believed to be only two feet long when it collided with the Earth in 2014 at a speed of nearly 100,000 miles per hour. After the collision, it shattered into tiny shards that fell into the South Pacific Ocean, earning the moniker CNEOS 2014-0108. This name is decidedly less memorable. The astronomy community has taken notice of CNEOS 2014-0108 because they think it could very easily be the first interstellar object of its size to be detected by humans and could potentially strike Earth. Additionally, Loeb is going the extra mile. Loeb is remaining open-minded about all the possibilities as a scientist, including the possibility that CNEOS 2014-0108 might have technology from another planet. Numerous hypotheses other than extraterrestrial ones have also been put up by astronomers. One hypothesis is that Oumuamua could be a nitrogen iceberg that broke off a Pluto planet in the distant past. That is, however, inconceivable, according to Loeb and his Harvard student colleague Amir Siraj, as pure nitrogen is extremely rare both on Pluto and across the universe. They estimated that a mind-bogglingly large amount of exoplutos would be needed to produce a pure nitrogen Oumuamua. Oumuamua may be a block of solid hydrogen that was created as a consequence of the solar system's formation in the periphery of a massive molecular cloud, according to the speculation of other researchers. Others claim that Oumuamua is a comet after all, whether it be an extraterrestrial comet that was kicked out of its home solar system by a gravitational interaction, or one that was formed in our solar system and then travelled far outside before making one final lap around it. We'll never really know, and perhaps it's best for us to move on, just like that strange visitor. And that ends our episode. We hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe and leave a comment down below on your thoughts and don't forget to like today's video. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.